Hi, my name's Mike, and I thought I'd just give you a quick update on this large that I've worked on uh, in my second to last video about large branch refinement. Um, the, the tree has now had its second trim since we've done the work on there, so the small shoots like these were pinched back to give me more budding at the back of the branches. Um, as you can see, it's quite a, it's quite a sizable tree, um, so the wiring took a bit longer than I, than I anticipated uh, and I've taken a few decisions um, as you remember on the day to uh, refine the overall style of the tree. Um, one of them was to remove this, this small branch, this branch in here which was a, a large branch that sort of was really a back branch but was grown as a side branch. That's been replaced with this, with this branch that's been brought down slightly further. Um, I'll give you a quick 360 spin of the tree so you can so you can see uh, the stage it's at now. Now at the back here, again, I had to remove a branch that was directly opposing another branch. So that's left me with a bit of a, of a, of a gap here. Um, but there is a branch in the top here that will be trained to fill this gap uh, in due course. And it'll probably take a year or so uh, to, fill that, to fill that gap. Just, just a quick, uh, a quick talk about these, about this branch structure that we've, that I've talked about in the, uh, in the video. The layering of the branches gives you this, this domed effect um, on, on your branches, and you can see that in both these, these side branches that have been fairly well developed. Uh, this branch on this side is still slightly flat, um, but as you can see, that's why I'm letting these these shoots grow out at the moment that's to give me that extra height and a close up on these on these foliage pads that we've been working on during the branch refinement as you can see if I if I rotate the tree you can see that those branches are actually following a line um, that that gives them a, a domed effect um, and as the tree is viewed from the front you can actually see through the branches into the branch structure um, and the same, it's the same on, on this on this branch up here, where you can see that the as you as you're looking at the th at the tree as it rotates, you can see that those branches are, are, are quite domed and have a, a, a quite a natural appearance. Um, in contrast to this, on this side, the branches are still fairly flat, and they don't give you that that natural looking effect yet. Uh, but that's something that I'm I'm working on over the next. Uh, over the next couple of years on this on this tree. Um, furthermore there's a few things that sort of stick out on that tree and that's these branches on this side um, are fairly straight out from the trunk and then start to dip. So this year, uh, maybe a bit later in the year, probably about June, to, June July time, um, I will make a saw cut here and actually bring the whole branch down. Um, so this, this straight piece will actually be angled straight from the trunk uh, coming down and it's the same on this one because uh, they're the two that really don't quite fit uh, with the image of the tree as it stands. Um, another thing that, that probably needs to be done is just develop this this little apex on this secondary branch on this secondary trunk um, to give me a bit more refinement in that but again uh, there's still a couple of years left to go on this on this tree until it's uh, in the final stages. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again. Cheers, bye.